Vlog number 10, starting out guys, going pond fishing again, and what kind of episode would it be without a white monster? Oh yeah, there we go, I can't, I can't um, have a vlog without a white monster, that's, that's just not how it works. Um... Just ate breakfast, got a little snack with me as well. Um, it's probably gonna rain, so I'm throwing on some like old shoes and stuff. Um, hopefully it's not gonna rain. It wasn't supposed to rain until 12, that's why I mean we were gonna go early. It's like eight o'clock right now. I'm going to pick up Chris. We're gonna go to that pond that we went to last time if you watched. Um, the Chatterbait vlog. I can't remember which vlog that was. But um, this is the same place. So I'll catch you guys at Chris's. All right, guys, we're going. <coughs> going to pick up Chris. Mm, coughing over here. Going to pick up Chris. Um, like I said, going to head to that pond. I already got my poles from yesterday. Uh, by the time you see this vlog, you have already seen the frog and wobblehead um, pond video. If you guys like these pond videos, be sure to tell me guys, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and like the video right now. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, comment below. Um, you can comment at the end of the video though. Let me know what you think. Um, give me any ideas and stuff. Gotta pause the car. Gotta pause the car. Make sure no one's around. Hear that? Mm, God! Woo! Morning coffee right there, boys and girls. Cold tea on a summer day. Are you talking, huh? All right, guys, just got Chris, and we are gonna go to that pond. Um, it's kind of sprinkling. I'm really hoping it's not gonna rain. That's why. That's why we went early this morning. Um, because it, it wasn't supposed to rain till like 12, but I just looked at my phone, and it's saying it's supposed to rain right now. This percentage is decent, but in the sky, it's kind of open where we're going, so we should be good. I'm not too worried about it. It's just the fact if we're going to get kicked out or not. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think we will, especially this early. I don't know what time they get to work there. It, like, it's in a business park. I'm sure you guys saw that. Um... So yeah, we're gonna go try it out. If we get kicked out, we'll go to a couple different ponds. There's some ponds around here. So we'll go check that out. So I'll catch you guys. All right, there. guys, just got here. We're parking in this little business park and this is during the week. Last time we went, it was on the weekend. So uh, I don't wanna, I wanna get out and get, get there really quick. So um, I'll catch you guys at the pond. God dang. Some take off? Yeah. Well, that was a fail. Something Topping off at six minutes. Already kicked out. Ugh. So, what we're gonna do, we're pretty much gonna go pond hopping today now. We're gonna go hit this pond by Chris's house, by our house, um, see if we can catch a few. And then we'll go to this little neighborhood pond and see if we can catch some. And then maybe a little church pond if we don't catch a lot, so. <laughs> what? I ain't over there. Well, I'll catch you guys at one of the other ponds. What I tell you? 
thought I had two for a second. Little guy. Little guy right there. Cinco. Wacky rig. Another small one. All right there guys, a really tiny one. This lake's not known for any really solid fish. Every once in a while, I know a couple of people that caught some 10 pounders out of here. You'll catch like a 10 pounder, but for the most part, it's mostly small fish, but it's the pond that we had to go to, so we're just gonna have some fun while we're at it. Better one right there. There you go. It's a better one. Decent one right there. Just having a good time, guys. Good release on them. That was third, third cast in a row. How we caught one? God, that was crazy. Right when I hit the water. Another small one. What's crazy is these fish are like all different colors. That's a really beautiful fish right there. Really good markings. Oh yeah. Better one. There you go. That's a decent one. Choking this wacky, wacky rig. There you go guys. Another small one. Um, a little better though. We're getting there. Alright guys, this is what I'm doing here. Um, right here, I have a little wacky rig. Just with like a watermelon seed worm. Um, any of those watermelon colors work pretty good in these ponds um, and stuff. So what I'm doing is I have a weightless as well. And the reason why I'm throwing this wacky rig is because in these ponds there's a lot of hydrilla as you can see i was pulling some off um and you want this weightless wacky rig so it doesn't dig down all in that stuff if you have like a shaky head or like a wobble head and stuff i mean it can work um but it's going to dig down into that stuff deeper so this what this would do is it'll kind of float above it um and you'll get those bites especially in those ponds with a lot more smaller fish you'll get a lot more um bites with this little wacky rig so we're just throwing it out there Let it hit, and most of the time they'll hit it right when it gets in the water. Um, but then just lifting up on the rod, and I'm filling it all the way through my rod when I get a bite, even when my line's in slack. Um, and yeah, guys, that's how we're working it. So next time you go to a pond, definitely go try that out. It's a great little tip. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Better one, I'm getting bigger. Right there, guys. Decent fish. Um, getting bigger. Not as small as those other ones. I wouldn't mind catching these all day like this. Got a lot of grass on them. So that's what I'm talking about. Is that grass and hydrilla? Um, when you get when you're using a shaky head it digs down so deep in that there you go guys decent little fish still a small one but still fun to catch oh my god Chris is a big one oh yeah good one A lot better. Yeah. There we go. Decent one right there. They are getting hooked in the same place every single time, guys. Every single one is crazy, and this hook just so sharp and gets them good every time.
What's going on, people? I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. I just hopped in my car, um, had to walk to a neighborhood for that pond I parked in Chris's neighborhood. Um, he went home a while ago, probably about 45 minutes ago. He went home. I got he was wasn't just catching any fish, so. Um, or I guess he was just tired and wanted to go. I don't know what the deal was. I didn't really ask him. He said he's ready to go. Um, so I stayed a little bit longer. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Really didn't get any big fish. Um, they're all small. But that first pond we went to, the good one with all the big ones, um, that one we got kicked out within six minutes because Chris was playing his GoPro for six minutes. So um, we're only there for six minutes, which sucks. And, um, yeah, that, that wasn't the best because I know we could have caught a big one there. But, um, we still got to hit that pond right over here. There's a lot of small fish in it. I know some people who have caught some good 8 to 10 pounders in there, but that's rare. Like, you either catch an 8 to 10 pounder or you catch a little deep like, like those ones we are catching. Um, but I hope you guys take those tips that I gave you about the wacky rig and everything and go apply it towards the ponds um, by your house and the ponds that you guys fish. So definitely take in that information um, and go try it on some of the ponds or even the home lakes that you fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, nah, let's not cut it off yet. Check out the Ufala vlogs. You need to check those out. They're pretty dang good, pretty dang funny. Watching Chris's Schmedleys. Watching my dad's Peekers. But until next time, keep drinking your white monsters. And team kicking their bass TV, baby.